it's one of his best films and most enduring films. I don't think he would consider it probably. I'm, you know, I should never assume. But I think, you know, Paul has made some really great films and won Academy Awards and all kinds of things, and he's done some wonderful work. But, you know, just as far as an audience watching a film to hear a good tale told, uh, I think this is one of his most enduring films. And a I think of all the films that I've done, that's the one that's played the most on uh, AMC and uh, Turner Classic Movies. They play it over and over again, and I still must get at least 20 letters a month about the young Philadelphians. They love the story, and when I go on cruises and you know we play films and so forth, uh, they always want to see the young Philadelphians. And it wasn't even a color. That was a black and white film. But the love story is enduring, and they seem to, to like it a great deal. I, um, at the, towards the end of the film, Paul wanted certain changes made with the script. And I think Vincent Sherman was amenable to that. And uh, Stuart Stern was brought in. I don't know if you know, Stuart Stern's a wonderful screenwriter. And so he came in, and he did certain scenes. And uh, I think it just kind of uh, spiced the picture up a little bit. And you know who else was in the film, and I loved her. Uh, so often when I worked in film, I worked with people that I admired a great deal. So it was such a happiness to work with them. To be able to work with them, be around them, was Alexa Smith. She was a wonderful woman, and uh, I loved her scenes with him. And Otto Kruger, I'd worked with him on Magnificent Obsession, but I thought he was such a good, you know, they had the wonderful character actors in it.